Leftists rush to claim Capitol Police attacker was a white Trump supporter. Suspect is actually a young black man. Yes, that's right, folks. Here again, we have an attack where the media, leftists, Democrats all jump to the assumption that this was a white Trump supporter or a Republican or this is the Republican's fault or this is Trump's fault. Because all of these people think that there are white supremacists behind every corner and attacking every day when it's really a total delusion. It seems over and over again, anytime there's an attack, they try to attach white people to it, just like they used to try to attach the Tea Party to everything that happened during the Obama years. But now suddenly it's just this ghostly presence of white supremacy. It's just like those anti-Asian attacks. They try to claim that that's white supremacy when in fact it's mostly black men attacking these people. So as you probably know by now, two officers were killed at the Capitol, DC police officers, uh, when they were rammed uh, by a car by a black Muslim man who jumped out and stabbed them as well and both have uh, unfortunately passed away. But of course, before we knew anything, all these virtue signaling leftists on Twitter, blue check marks, went out to basically expose themselves as total racist by just baselessly assuming that this was a white guy. So we got this guy, he's responding to a tweet saying, it's ridiculous to state that you don't have a motive, then followed it up with this. And this guy says, translation, it was a white guy. Nope. So we got Ethan Embry here, does not appear to be terror related, so he was white. And I don't get that anyway. Terror, terrorism has a very specific definition. If you are committing violence, against a civilian population in order to push your political views, in order to, you know, to terrorize people so they'll accept your political agenda, that's terrorism. It's not when somebody just goes out and randomly kills people, whether it's a white guy or a brown person or a black person, it doesn't matter. That's not, if it's just random, that does not fit the definition of terrorism. But these idiots out here think that anytime a white person shoots somebody, nobody wants to call it terror because he's a white person, but that's just not true. I mean, how many black mass shootings or gang related mass shootings happen in Chicago or on the coasts uh, that are not called terrorism? Uh, none of them. We got Shabuti here saying, so it was a white Trump supporter. Uh, no. No, it wasn't. Uh, how about David M? Without having the slightest clue about the security incident at the Capitol, I'm going to go ahead and call white nationalist terrorism on this one. Well, <laughs> you're wrong. It's a black nationalist. So we'll take a look here. ABC News breaking. So if you scroll down here and you're going to start seeing this. <gasps> I just can't with white supremacy. When will you guys just give it up and love this country more than you hate a color, gender, an outfit, an accent? My God, may the Capitol Police officer memory be a blessing to family, colleagues, and our hurting world. Well, those two officers were white, by the way. Or at least one of them was. I'm not sure about the other one. And then this one. My question is, how many more people have to die before Senate passed this gun control law? Man's inhumane. Man. The guy rammed up the police with a car and then got out and stabbed them with a knife. What is this person talking about? And this is just the kind of person that the media and the Democrats create with their very selective reporting, their uh, deception, and their subterfuge to cover up any time a shooting or anything like this happens and it's not a white person. If it's a white person, man, the, the skin color of the offender will be front and center. They'll uh, immediately attach a racism narrative to it. But when it's the other way around, it's just like kind of hush-hush. They're very general about the tweets. There's nothing about the guy's skin color or their ideology. And that's why you get these kind of responses from people. This shit has to stop all of this. All of this started because of Donald Trump. <laughs> and then this guy, we are three months in this year and we've had 103 mass shootings and two capital attacks that have left, led to several police deaths. Like what are they? I have yet to see an outlet cover white crime and violence in America. Are you kidding? That's literally all they cover. They act like nothing else exists. It's just horrible white people causing all the problems in America. And what capital attacks again? What happened on the 6th was not an attack. It was a bunch of people, uh, thousands of people, out of thousands of people, a handful got rowdy with riot cops and an even smaller amount walked into the Capitol when they were let in and then walked out. Uh, it's literally what happened. Some people walked around, took pictures. Uh, it wasn't an attack. And the officer who died did not die there and as far as we know, didn't die because of anything that happened at the Capitol. Let's look at all the posts on Ted Lou's Twitter. I'm sure that they're very uh, level-headed. Please tell your colleagues across the aisle to stop radicalizing their constituents. Amazing. Heartbreaking. We still need a commission to investigate the Capitol riots with this attack included. <laughs> Unbelievable. Can't you guys do anything about the GOP? Oh, he put GQP in there, like Q. Oh, that's very, very clever. But he's a complete idiot. Here we got Amy Klobuchar. Let's look at her. Oh, of course, we're talking about domestic terrorism law. 
Did you find it strange or suspicious that some of the GOP members wanted to tear down the protective barriers at the Capitol building? No, idiot. Those barriers, that the, the fencing around DC had nothing to do with this. It was barriers put in there after 9-11. And there's more and more blame of the GOP here. I'm reminded that 12 GOP congressmen voted no to give the Capitol Police Congressional Medal. How shameful. Uh, this has nothing to do with Republicans, has nothing to do with Trump, has nothing to do with white people or conservatives. Folks, this has got to stop because uh, it's going to spiral out of control. Uh, these people are getting whipped up into such a frenzy. At some point, they're going to want blood. All right, folks, that's about all I can take of that for one night. Just want to let you all know about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next video.